at the Kratu West Municipality during the resettlement period benefited from boreholes fitted with motorized pumps that supplied water to reinforce concrete ground tanks with a total storage capacity of about 460 cubic meters of water. The water system became dysfunctional and in 2003, the government of Ghana together with GTZ and KFW intervened through the Eastern and Volta Region Assistance Project, Everup, providing some boreholes which were mechanized to deliver water into a 12 meter high elevated 180 cubic meter re, uh, reinforced concrete reservoir. Mr. Speaker, to improve portable water delivery in the municipality, the Community Water and Sanitation Agency carried out an assessment on the water system in March 2018, taking into consideration the extent of deterioration and the water supply challenges to the large population. The Community Water and Sanitation Agency intervened in March 2019 and undertook rehabilitation works to the tune of about 330,000 Ghana cities to improve water uh, delivery. Currently, the water system supplies portable water at 29 standpipes and 642 private connections. Mr. Speaker, taking into consideration the safe yields of the boreholes and the capacity of the install pumps, the water system can daily produce 582.4 cubic meters of water per day of safe water. This total daily production has the ability to meet the daily water demand of the Kitikrachi community at the present estimated demand of 554.92 cubic meters per day. The challenge, however, is the incessant power supply interruption from Northern Electricity Distribution Company, NETCO. So, Speaker, the CWSC is in discussion with a number of agencies, including the Grand Force Ghana Limited, to develop a public-private partnership agreement for the development of a surface water supply system, drawing raw water from the water leak. In the long term, the Ketekrachi municipality and its environs will be supplied with potable water from the water leak. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.